Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Utopia. I am here on the server, and I would like to do some more liquids. Uh, we've got a few left. We're getting pretty low other than the, the liquid metals, which shouldn't be too difficult to get once uh, we got everything else. Um, one of the things that's bugging me is this timer is just way too loud. So I'm going to replace it with a little bit of a simpler system, uh, one that make, doesn't make noise. So let's come right up here and craft it up. And that is actually the MFR... Um, Redneck controller. I don't think I have one at the moment, so let's make one. We're going to need the housing. Do I have everything? Sweet. And the controller itself. Oop, what am I missing? More plastic? Okay. There we go. Alright, and all I got to do with that is come back down here. And I can put that right in between. Think. Actually, no, let's put it... I need a block. Do I have a block? I don't have a block. Wow. Okay. Um, let's get the ME system. <laughs> this area is getting a little bit crowded, but that's fine. Uh, do I have any redneck cable? I don't even have redneck cable. Wow. Okay. More plastic. Okay. So there's our cable, and then I just need one block. Just give me something like stone or something, just for a second. Marble, perfect. Okay. So, oh, I couldn't even. I could have even taken that green block there because I'm about to get rid of that. Put that there. Put the housing right here. Get rid of the block, and we'll put a cable right there. And see, it's connecting to both of those guys. And now I can just say, give me a square wave. Where are you? Wave square. Perfect. Uh, it's going to be a constant one, and the output is going to be to the back. There we go, on the white signal. Okay, so I should be able to get rid of that. And the timer under here. There we go. And is that working? The only way I can tell is if I put some sand in there. Need more than one. Ah, lagging. Come on, server. Handle it. Perfect. Yep, it's crafting it. It's crafting it pretty fast. <laughs> that actually is a very fast timer. Might be actually too fast, but I don't know of a way to lengthen. I don't know. There might be something to do with that constant, but... That makes a redstone timer really easy, just one block and one guy. I don't know if I can even get rid of the cable and just say send one signal up, one signal down, but that works. Okay, so next, one of the things I need is seed oil, and I don't have a lot of seeds, I don't believe. If I look, let's just check how many seeds we have. I got a good amount, but that's not going to give us the amount of seed oil we need. So I was looking, I'm, I'm thinking, what do I have a lot of? And all these deep storage buckets have like hundred thousand of something in them and one of them is apples and if you look at the uses of apples and you go to Pam's so you squeeze it you get fruit juice uh oh maybe I'm wrong uh, let's go back to seed oil there seed oil in a barrel comes from the squeezer where are you apple core there we go so if I, put, if I put an apple into a crafting bench, I get an apple core, which I can then squeeze for uh, seed oil. So all I need to do is take apples out of there, put them into a squeezer, and then I'm good, right? So that's pretty cool. So this is a squeezer. We could probably just put another squeezer right there. Let's see if we can get one real quick. Squeezer. There we go. Do I have everything? I'm always short these sturdy casings. Alright. You can go up there. Timer, too. Okay. We are having a little bit of lag on the server today. I'm not sure why. Alright, you go there. Um, where's power coming from? Underneath. Give me power, please. There you are. Okay, so I need some Ender IO um, inventory cable and power cable. I can get both of those. 
conduits. There we go. Some item conduit. That's probably too much, but always better to have too much than not enough. Alright, power the squeezer. Like so. Alright, where are the items coming through? There, there, there. Oh, that worked. <laughs> And then I can disable these guys. Okay, did anything go into this chest that shouldn't have? No, it's all my poisonous potatoes. Okay, so now here, oh wait, I can't put apples directly in the squeezer. That's not gonna work. Um, do I wanna use a liquid crafter or do I wanna just go straight up build craft? Let's try build craft. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, craft. Thing. Um. Use a crafting terminal. No, let's not do that. Where's the auto workbench? That's what it's called. <laughs> I think. It's been a while since I played in vanilla build craft. Uh, train workbench. Machinist workbench. There, there it is. Auto workbench. Give me one of those. Wow, I don't have anything. Give me some gears. Give me a vanilla crafting table. Alright. So, I can go... Put the workbench here. And then grab an apple. Okay. And say one apple is one apple core cool and then you are allowed to import insert oops that was not right go away insert apples on a whitelist perfect apples nice and let's see if these get auto ejected into the inventory of the squeezer that would be nice but I don't think that's gonna happen no oh, I don't need that there anymore so let's um, break the squeezer, just move it out one. So power here and item conduit there. Okay. That should work nicely. There we go. Alright, so you can now take out all those apple cores, go for it, and put them in there. Oops. You need to be an insert. Right, apple cores. Nice. And it's already squeezing them. And we have seed oil already. Wow. Awesome. Why are you taking so long? Oh, because they don't stack. That's alright. That's not a problem because this thing takes forever though. Okay. Well, that's a, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> We're gonna go with a liquid crafter. It's just so much faster because I can give it a clock. Uh, liquid crafter. Whoa, need a lot of stuff for that. Okay. More plastic. Always more plastic. Just give me a bunch here. There we go. Uh, another vanilla crafting table. Some item frames. And some buckets. Alright. Do not steal my buckets. There we go. Alright, so switch this. Hard to break. Okay. Look at crafter. Oh, did you really reset? Insert whitelist. Okay, cool. Apples, apples, apples. Here's your template. Now we need a timer. Um, do I make another Redneck controller or run cable over? Ah. Another controller, because the cable is actually more expensive for me anyway, because of the cost of the uh, plastic. So, might as well just make another one of these. So this time I'm going to try without the cable, just to see if it works. So we're going to send a square wave out to the right side. Square wave, constant one, output to the right. Oops. 
And are you crafting? You are not crafting. Okay. Well, fine. Instead, we'll put it right here and do a square wave to the back. And get a piece of cable. Alright, and let's see if this works. There we go, now we're making some apple cores. You go ahead and extract, why aren't you extracting? Oh, it is, okay. Now that's some fast crafting. Boom! <laughs> Those meteors are crazy. So it's crafting as fast as the Ender I.O. can put items in, and this thing is just going to get filled up. Okay. But we've got a little bit, a little tiny bit of seed oil. Does it Wayla tell us how much? No, it does not. But now we can go ahead and get an ender tank. And it'll take a while, but we will get our seed oil. Let's craft me one of those. Thank you. And we need to find a color. Let's put this here. Seed oil is kind of yellowish green. Do we have like a yellow, yellow something? I really need to write this down. All right, yellow green is taken. Yellow lime lime is taken. Yellow, yellow lime is taken. Yellow lime green. What about yellow green green? Oh, man. <laughs> I have to do like yellow green gray, maybe. Why is that yellow, yellow, purple? That's a silly color for that. Yeah. Okay, so yellow, green, gray would be perfect color for this. Nope, not that one. Green. Take two of those, please. And how about some gray dye? Perfect. And I'll need some fluid conduit. And we should be good. Yellow, green, and gray. Anything in there? No. Sweet. Conduit. Set you to extract all the time. Seed oil. Nice. That's actually pretty good. It's kind of a yellow, green, gray. If you mix those three colors, you get P, right? <laughs> but we've got our seed oil. So let's go upstairs and do the same thing. Oh, I'm stuck. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. Alright, seed oil here. Yellow, green, gray. And this is connected, so we just dump it. There we go. Seed oil can on its way. 730 is all we've gotten from all those apples. Uh, that's going to take a lot. That's going to take uh, 2 million apples. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we might have to do something else. Um, cause our apples are going to be gone. How's our acid doing? 115? It's getting there. Poison, I still need to fix that B. It's broke. Pink slime, you getting there? 38,000. There needs to be another way to get pink slime. Honestly. It's so random. Mushroom soup we completed last time, and that's working great. Perfect. Uh-oh, why has this got... What's in there? That is weird. That is a really weird color. I guess that's a bug. Can I fix it? Yeah, it's white. Interesting. So something about black ink is white in a conduit. Uh, glue, okay. And glue is red. Really weird. Oh no, did we get iron in there again? I think we got iron in there again. Sewage would be a good one, and I think uh, steam would also be a pretty easy one. How are we doing on... Oh yeah, I know a way to get steam really easy. So let's go this level. No, let's go up one more. Yeah, right here we got plenty of room. Okay, let's do a steam 
boiler. Is there other ways to get steam that are easier? Housing, steam oven, steam traps. I don't think so. Oh, convert steam to charge. No, that's not right. Yeah. Steam dynamo. I think that just produces MJ. I don't think that produces steam. So let's do a high pressure boiler tank. So let's go up to craft it first. Oops. Too hard. Too far. Okay, so I want some steam boilers. How many can I get? Ooh, nice that I have those already made. Ten of them, huh? It's not enough. Um, where are my... Uh, da, 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 da. What's it called? Not liquid... Uh, well, actually, what does liquid take? Liquid fueled boiler firebox. I can't remember what it takes. Because I've got, um, I've got a ton of things that I think I could put in there. One of which being ethanol, but I'm not sure if that works. I've got tons of it. All right, give me one sec, guys. I just want to make sure that works before I go on. If not, I'm going to just use charcoal because I've got 24,000 rubber wood, a million oak wood. Well, let's just do let's just do that. <laughs> let's use our wood for something. So let's use a solid fuel guy, and I'm going to need nine of those. Okay, so nine furnaces. Okay. How many of these can we make? Two. I need more fire charges. Da, da. Ah, short bricks. How can we short bricks? Clay? Do we have any clay? Ah, man. Well, we got some there. Alright, so... Whoa, don't want to do that. Give me some of this. Is there any way to easy way to break this down? I don't think there is. Okay, throw that in the oven upstairs. It's bricks, right? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. Should be able to get the rest of these now. We need, what, two more? Wait. Didn't I make nine furnaces? I swear I made nine furnaces. Maybe not. Alright. There's nine. And then I'm going to need, uh... Let's see, three, three by four by three is 12, 36. Should I just do a three by three by three? Because I don't need a ton of it. This is going to produce steam so quickly. Yeah, let's just do three by three by three, which is 27 boiler tanks. And that is steel plate. How are we doing on steel? machine there you are okay and we need four would get us four which would make two of these and I need 17 so 34 ingots total so eight of these oops no 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 too many too many There, close enough. All right, this is right, right? Hope so. <laughs> Sixteen. It's another four, it'd be twenty. 
I don't want to do the math. Just let it go. Okay, so we're going to put that. Let's go do it downstairs on this oh, not Thumbcraft level. Let me in. Hey, let me in. There we go. Do it right here. Uh, actually, over here. That's fine. So we'll put the fuel. Wait, where's the A system? A is way over here. All right, we're doing it here. All right. Do we have the room? We do got the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then start stacking these up here. Yeah, I definitely don't need the full size one. And if I do, I can always add it back. Come on, put that there. Or add more on top. Okay. Up to get the rest. Hopefully they're done by now. I need 26. I need that last one. Craft, please. Nope. Craft. Here we go. Alright. Got one extra. That's fine. Can't believe this late. Whoa, I did not need to go there. This late in the season to build a steam boiler. They're one of my favorite sources of the power because they generate so much for not a lot of work. Okay, everything looks good there. Get throw a bunch of this away. All right, so we'll need an export bus to take out wood. We need to burn it first into charcoal. And I want to heat this guy up faster. Hmm. I've never done this. That would be a lot of fun to do. Alright, well let's... How am I going to do this? I need to burn the wood to charcoal. So here we'll do this. We'll just get a standard, um, what kind of furnaces do we get? It's blast furnace, slag. Any eye, why are you being so slow? Modular furnace? That could be interesting. Lava core? Redstone furnace. I don't have power here, so let's just get let's just a standard iron furnace. I don't want to build this anymore. Ah, it takes freaking plates to build. All right, furnace for now. For now, this is temporary. Furnace is going here. Oops, not right there. Here. All right, export buses. I don't need a precision basic. Top. Do I have power around here? Please say I do. That's power, isn't it? Okay. Forget you then. Give me one of these instead. Oh, that's a steel one. I don't want to waste steel. This guy, iron furnace, okay, or iron machine frame. One of these. One of these, okay. You go in there, you go in there. Give me some more conduit. This is all temporary because I'd like to just run the furnace off the steam itself, so. I uh, no. Actually, oh, it's really hard to place blocks when it's lagging this much. Okay, right there. All right, let's see, there's your power. You go right there. Powered? 
You are powered. Okay. We will export here. No. Power is going to go at the bottom of the side. Export at the top. Power here. We'll take the output with some thermal expansion stuff. Actually, I just use vanilla color. Uh, I just got it. It's fine. I think. I don't know. That's energy conduit. All right, it's gonna have to work then. So I don't feel like crafting it. All right, you are an input. You are an extraction out of the orange. Perfect. Yeah, look like even that was slow. Wow. All right, so I need some ME cable. I need some wood out of my two million wood, or one million wood, I think I'm good. And I can just run this right back here. Okay. Set wood there and go. Cook. Charcoal into here. Ah, it's not going to produce it fast enough, is it? All right, so we're going to need a row of redstone furnaces. <laughs> let's do. Uh, let's do four of them. Wait. Oh, there it was. I was blind. I couldn't see it. And now I'm blinding it. There it is. Now that's Iron Furnace. Why can't I see this thing? It's there, I know. What the heck? There it is. My goodness. Alright, give me three more of those. Three more of those. Oops, I had plenty. Oh, what am I missing? Bricks? No! Alright, so a second one. There. You are disabled. You are export. Okay. Need some power. We need another export bus. Will two be enough? I don't know. Give me some wood. Wood goes there, and now you're producing charcoal too. Cool. All right. Build up a surplus. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. Heat up. That should be okay. Perfect. And if I need to use my other woods, which I don't think I will, I can always switch those for precision. And if I get more bricks, I can put a third one there. Actually, once this thing gets up to speed, I'm going to use some of the steam on a steam furnace. And then I'll just feed it in a loop. That'll be fine. Okay, so steam will be created once we get to 100 degrees. That won't take too long. So let's go ahead and get our ender chest ready. Or ender tank, sorry. And we'll put that right uh, here. Does it output directly? I don't know. That's not <laughs> what I meant to put down. Try that again. There we go. And let's see. Steam. I know yellow gray. Gray is taken. And we don't have a gray dye anyway. So let's do white. Uh, I think white, white was milk. So let's check. That's water? Oh yeah, that's water, okay. So, 
Yellow, white, pink. Sure. That's our steam color. Anything in there? No. Hooray. Okay. So we need a... Uh, that's a liquid, right? I think... I believe steam is classified as a liquid. Uh, it's going to need to come out of here instead. So you can be disabled. You can be auto extract. There you go. Take the steam. Go for it. What temperature you at? 47. All right, well, we'll come back and check that. Actually, we're going to have to check that next episode because we just hit the wrapping up point. And uh, not a lot of exciting things done, but we are moving closer on our challenge. We will get this done, except for the ones that we know that we can't, like liquid glass. <laughs> uh, but I am getting very close. Really, the metals are some of the only ones we have left. Pig iron is going to be a little tough. Um sap I think we can get pretty soon blood and emeralds I think I'm going to work on next because I can get them both at the same time and we already have the setup ready for that it's just the mob spawning that we have to work out uh, but I think we'll have plenty of mob essence now that we can throw our villagers and whatever else in here and I'm hoping uh, to be able to just throw villagers in here and they'll melt but the, the trick is to get the blood out but while having another um, metal in there. So I think I'm going to have to run a loop, like have the metal in the bottom, but then every on a timer, suck it out. And then as soon as all the uh, liquid emerald and blood is out, then I'll, then I'll put it back in or something like that. So I think we can do it. We'll figure it out a way that we can make that work. But right now our steam boiler's pumping along. It's up to 59 degrees, so we'll give it some time and come back next time to work on the Utopia All Drum Challenge with me. This has been Funshot X on the Utopia server. Make sure you're uh, visiting our forums if you want to be involved in the community. Uh, there's a lot of fun events uh, that we're trying to work on for the community and that kind of thing. So hope to uh, see you guys there. Uh, and then if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you're not uh, subscribed, why not? Hit that subscribe button. It's free. And I uh, hope to see you guys next time. This is from Funchon X. Catch you later. Bye.